Hello, you are welcome. How to solve this nice algebra equation? From here, we have s times x times x plus x equals to 10. And here, x times x times x, same thing as x raised to the power 3, 10 plus x, which is equal to 10. Then from here, let's take 10 to this side, and this becomes x raised to the power 3 plus x minus 10 then equals to 0 from here then also here we can write 10 as 8 plus 2 then this becomes x raised to the power 3 plus x minus into bracket 8 plus 2 equals to 0 from here <laughs> then this minus we affect it and 2 and this becomes x raised to the power 3 plus x minus 8 minus 2 equals to 0 then what we have from here we can regroup it as x raised to the power 3 minus 8 then plus x minus 2 then equals to 0 from here that is here we can write 8 as 2 raised to the power 3 2 multiply itself 3 times and this will become x raised to the power 3 minus 2 raised to the power 3 then plus x minus 2 then equals to 0 from here that is here we have this together and this together then, what we have in this bracket follows the pattern a raised to power 3 minus b raised to power 3, which gives us a minus b into bracket, then open bracket a square plus ab plus b square. Then, when we apply this to what we have here, then we can write this as x minus 2. Then into bracket we have x square plus 2x plus 2 square then close bracket then plus what we have here which is into bracket x minus 2 then equals to 0 from here that is here we have x minus 2 come on let's factor it as x minus 2 out then what we left here is f square plus 2x plus 2 square here is 4. Then before closing bracket, what is left here as well is 1 now. Then close bracket equals to 0 from here. That is, we can write it as x minus 2. Then into bracket x square plus 2x plus 5 then equals to 0 from here now here we have two possible cases from here x minus 2 equals to 0 or we have x square plus 2x plus 5 equals to 0 and on this side, we take minus 2 there and x equals to 2. So we have x equals to 2 on this side. Then here, we have a to be 1, b to be 2, and c to be 5. And using the formula, which is x equals to minus b, plus or minus square root of b square, minus 4ac over 2a then what we have here becomes x now equals to minus 2 plus or minus square root of 2 square minus 4 times 1 times 5 then over 2 times 1 so here this becomes x to be equals to minus 2 
plus or minus square root of 4 minus 20 then over 2 and we have x now equals to minus 2 plus or minus root minus 16 over 2 and here root minus 16 taken as 4 high so we have f now equals to minus 2 plus or minus 4 high over 2 that is here we can write this as x equals to 2 into bracket minus 1 plus or minus 2i over 2 and here this 2 will cancel out and we have x now equals to minus 1 plus or minus 2i so we have two complex solutions from here and then it implies that altogether we have three solutions the first one is x1 which is equal to 2 and we also have x2 which is minus 1 plus 2i and we also have x3 which is equal to minus 1 minus 2i so altogether we have these three solutions in this given problem and from what we have we can check for the first solution which is really x equals to 1 i mean x equals to 2 from here when we substitute here so this what we have here becomes 2 then 2 then 2 then plus 2 with this being equals to 10 and here this becomes 2 times 2 times 2 that's simply 8 plus 2 is equal to 10 and we have 8 plus 2 that's 10 which is equal to 10 and left hand side equals to right hand side so x equals to 2 satisfy this and when we check for the other complex solutions as well it also satisfy the given problem thank you for watching subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell and see you next class Bye for now.